A very warm welcome to all of you to another lecture on this course on modeling and simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. So, we were talking about probability and uh, we had uh, discussed Bayes theorem in detail with a specific example. Now, we will talk about the idea of random variables. So, a random variable basically x, random variables are generally represented using uppercase letters. So, x a random variable is a function that maps the sample space or the outcome from a sample space to the real line. So, for all omega is a real number. So, x is a real number and we can therefore say that rather actually a random variable variable is a function that deterministically maps outcomes from the sample space to the that deterministically maps the outcomes from the sample space to the real line. So, that is for a given outcome the random variable always takes a fixed value. For a given outcome, the random variable always takes a fixed value. It is not that uh, say example, let us say you toss a coin. And say the sample space basically is heads and tails and say head equals 1 and 0. Therefore, whenever the outcome of the coin toss is a heads, you get a 1. Whenever the outcome is 0, a tails, you get a 0. So, it is a deterministic mapping from uh, the sample space onto the real line. So, it gives basically what uh, the idea of a random variable is to give numerical values to the outcomes of any the basic idea behind a random variable is to give numerical values to the outcome of a any random experiment and like underlying sample spaces the values taken also be both discrete and values taken by a random variable can also be both discrete and continuous. So, uh, we are now in a state to define the three fundamental defining functions or uh, three functions that characterize a random variable. The first is the probability mass function. function. This is defined in case of find mostly or defined for mostly would be a better word for discrete defined mostly for discrete random variables and the probability mass function. 
So, this is denoted as f this corresponds to the probability of the event that the random variable capital X value corresponds to the probability of the event that the random variable capital X takes a value small x that is this fine. So, this is the the probability that the event that the random variable x takes a value small x. Correspondingly, we define the cumulative distribution function function or the CDF of a random variable as probability that the random variable capital X takes a value less than or equal to small x. So, probability that uh, the random variable capital X takes a value less than or equal to small x and this is obviously for discrete random variables f x of x equals summation summation over x i less than equal to x probability that x i x uh, capital X equals x i or this equals the sum of probability mass functions this fine. So, this and before we continue to the probability density function we should state that the CDF has certain properties that uh, we will write here. So, that is slide and call it properties. properties of the CDF. So, these are the properties of the CDF, I will write these down. It is bounded between 0 less than equal to, it is bounded between 0 and 1, 2 probability that x 1 less than equal to x less than equal to x strictly less than x 2 is sorry x x 1 it is a non decreasing function of x it is a non decreasing function of x here it is important to just identify that capital X denotes the random variable and small x denotes value taken by the So, capital X denotes the random variable and small x denotes the value taken by the random variable. It is a non decreasing function of x. Sorry, f x 0 minus infinity equals 0, 5 f x of infinity equals 1, and it is. on the right. 
So, the CDF of a random variable is uh, continuous on the right. So, that said we are in a position to define the probability density function of the PDF. this is given by small f x of x and this is nothing but this is defined as the derivative of x or trying to interpret it physically because uh, physical interpretation of the pdf is rather important. So, So, equals this piece and hence limit delta x tends to 0 this equals limit delta x tends to 0 probability that x the random variable x or uh, this is the limiting probability that uh, 1 over delta x times. So, in words or the weighted probability that the random variable x. So, this is for a continuous random variable as we said we can only define continuous random variables in terms of ranges and the random variable x between the infinite decimal x and x plus delta x. So, this is the limiting probability that uh, the random variable x takes a value within the range x and x plus delta x and naturally f x of x equals minus infinity to x f x of u du which is natural. So, this is its this is the first property of the PDF. The second property is probability x 1 less than x less than equal to x 2 f x of x d x. Third property is that since f x of x. So, I do not know whether that include that is since f x of x is decreasing since f x of x is non decreasing its derivative is always since this is non decreasing its derivative is always non negative fine. So, these are the properties of the probability density function and uh, this is how we physically interpret the probability density function. So, the next topic or uh, the next thing that uh, we would want to revise from our idea of random variables and probability theory is expectation. So, the expectation operator denoted by x is called the expected value of x or the for practical data this is 
roughly equivalent to the average this is not the average this is equivalent to the average and expected value of x in the discrete case is defined as summation say if x takes the value takes values from the set capital X then oh sorry from the set then the expected value of x is defined as summation for all x in x x times for all x in the set small x times the probability of x taking that value for discrete so this is the discrete case in the continuous case x dx minus infinity to infinity this is how you define the expected value or the expectation of x so as i said this defines the average or this is close to the notion of an average that we have the next idea that uh, we want to discuss is that of variance. So, the variance is the expected deviation that uh, the average that a random variable is expected to have around its expected value or mean and you can define the variance variance of x is defined as whole square and this can be shown to reduce to this. So, this is how you define the variance in general the nth moment of central moment fine. So, the nth moment is defined as this and the nth central moment is defined as this. So, these are simply the definitions I am not uh, going into much discussion about these ideas. I believe these ideas would be discussed properly in a course on probability theory, but uh, this is not that course. So, we will just introduce these ideas and uh, would not go into much details. So, the next thing that or the next idea that uh, we want to quickly cover is functions of a random variable. So, if g x is the function of a random variable y g x variable x then f y y equals probability of y less than equal to y probability of g x x so, this can be written in terms of sorry g x less than equal to y. So, this can be written in the in terms of the probability density or the cumulative distribution function of y 
one way is this another so this I am defining just as a this is a shortcut this is a shortcut or a formula or whatever you want you can obviously prove this but since this is not a course on probability we will not prove this but we will say that f y of y the probability density function of y will dx by d by absolute value times f x of y. So, this uh, so that is or rather f x of x f x of g inverse y and if this this is the case so this is for I will write this down this will be easier the case when g is a many one function or for multiple values of x g takes the same g gives you the same value of y for multiple values of x then this is how you can quickly determine the probability density function of y in terms of the probability density function of x. So, these are the basic ideas about uh, random variables that uh, we will talk about. Next, we will talk about how all of this uh, knowledge about probability theory etcetera ties into practical data and uh, how do we interpret those. So, thank you. Mm -hmm.